Welcome back. Welcome back to Angling 360. And before we do anything to do with fishing, <laughs> have a look at that. One of my favourite places in the country. Best like, road to drive through. Oh, it's unbelievable. Been here hundreds of times, but every single time you come through, you just need to stop and go. Wow. Uh, yeah, thank you. Absolutely love the place. Unfortunately, there's not much fishing to be had here. <laughs> so we're heading up the coast a wee bit further. And what's the target today? Rass. Rass. And other small species that frequent one of our west coast sea lochs. It's a bit of a species hunt then? Yes. We don't have a preferred option of rag, do we? We've got shop bought rag. Aye. The Is tides didn't shoot for digging. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we far prefer to, to, to dig our own rag. Uh, we can get a right good bucket full in a couple of hours. But yeah, like Gon said, the tides, a bit of a neap tide. So I think our low tide today was like 0.75 or something, which doesn't give us the best digging conditions. So we've had to buy a few a few tubs of ragworm. We don't have many, we don't have much. So we're kind of limited to what we expect to catch today, but we'll go. We'll give it a go and see what happens. It's known as a the Ras Grand Slam, a Grand Slam, a Grand Slam, a Grand Slam. Ras Grand Slam. Yeah. Which are five species: five Balan, species of Ras, Balan Ras, Balan Ras, Cock Wing, Rock Cook, Cook. Gold Sunny, Gold Sunny, and the one you keep forgetting. Yep. Rock yep. Cook. No, I said that already. What is it? Cuckoo. 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 <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan. These midges will drive us cuckoo today. Hopefully, hopefully there's a wee bit of a breeze picks up later Alex, on. That's known as the three sisters for anyone that doesn't know. The three sisters are the ends of three ridges of Biddy Nambian, which is the hill up there in the clouds somewhere. Aye, sad to stop and get a wee look at that again. Right, go fishing. Let's go. Yeah. So that was Glencoe. We're now at the, the slippery coastline of our favoured Arras mark. But in the first 45 minutes, I think we've had one bite each and nothing but tangles and snags and weed. But we're fishing the, the float and ragworm. That's been out a few times. And we're fishing at about 20 feet and as the tide goes out, shallow it up. Alex is my preferred float stop nut person, because I'm crap at it. As we just adjust that to we find the fish, as the tide goes out, tide comes in, up and down. And the ragworm, for once, as we said earlier, shot bought, but it's actually, it's actually been pretty decent. So we're going to give it a few hours. We can work our way around this bay into the harbour where the smaller brass are. I can't see he's getting this grand slammer if I'm being brutally honest. But we shall give it a go. We shall give it a go. Well, it's taken about an hour. <laughs> we finally found a fish. It's been a bit slower than it normally would be here. And though I say we've got a fish, it's not the desired species. But the way today's going, I'll take anything. Hello Pollock, and a float fish drag. It's a start. Where are the wrasse? In there. Let's 
So that was another pollock. Uh, we've kind of hedged our bets here. Gordon's fishing off one point, I'm fishing off the other. There's a bit of a tide ripping through here and it's a bit of an eddy around there, a bit, a bit, more, a bit more slack. Just to see if we can find a wrasse. Definitely found the pollock. Might need to change, change a plan, change a plan of attack. All out pollock. Nah, we'll give these wrasse another little go. I'm getting one. <laughs> they're in there. I know they are. So we found some pollock. <laughs> Fishing round, just round the corner there, round from Gordon. And I was getting some little, in between the pollock, some little rattly bites on the float. I thought they look rassy to me. Probably one of the smaller species, maybe a gold sinny or a cockling or something like that. So scaled down the hook, size 10. First chuck. Wriggly little number. But it is a target species. It is a ras, and it's a cork wing ras, female cork wing ras. The blue vent is the giveaway. That's how we know it's a cork wing. Quite brown, not much colour on it. That's why we know it's a female. If that was a male, there'd be some blues and greens going on through here. Hopefully, we can get one. And then another way to tell it's cork wing is this fake eye on the tail root there. So the first ras of the day, cork wing. One of the trickier ones to get, so quite happy with that. Four to go. <laughs> so just after saying to Gordon there, it says there's fish round the corner, let's move round there. Loads of little rattly bites, loads of little rattly rasp bites, cork wings, gold sinnies, but I said if they're there, the balance will be there. The balance are there. It's not a bad one. Like that. Look at the colours on that. I think we might weigh that one. That might be worth weighing. It's the blue and the lips. I'll show you the lips in a wee second, but these are some lips. Look at that. <laughs> They're cool, cool, cool fish. Over the moon with that one. One of the difficult things about filming a YouTube channel is to try and catch not just the fish, but catch the take, the bite, the run, the float going under, as in this case. So with that belter of Harbalan rash that Alex caught there, by the time I'd get the phone out, we're a bit wet, your fingers are wet, you can't even unlock the phone. It's like an absolute ice rink on the slate. The fight is absolute brutal. There's no playing it. It's just UV the fish. It drags as tight as it can go and you've just got to basically haul ass to you. You win or the fish wins. It's that simple. And you're snagged up in the, the, the rock and the, the, the weed. So we're going to spend a bit of time just trying something different here. Alex will follow me, I'll follow my Alex. We'll try and catch, we seem to have found where the fish are at. We've come a bit more into the harbour where there's less of a tide uh, ripping through and it seems to be, as Alex is showing there. So what do you do when somebody's catching fish? You go and muscle in on their spot. So that's exactly what I've done. So that big ballon rash came on literally. A wee, it's that a couple of centimetres bit of, bit of rag. So that's what I'm going with. So what I have noticed is I need to put my depth down. 30 feet. One of the problems with these stock knots, see when you're getting caught up in the weed, when you're reeling in and it's caught in the eye, it catches your knot and then slides down. This is a 10 foot rod. So I'm to pull this down. About three rod, about three rod lengths. That isn't the easiest thing to do with whether it's weed and slate about. Guaranteed that's going to get snagged up. Try and lift up. We'll go with that. There it's on the reel. That's about 25. We'll go with 25 roughly. Then right, just a wee lob. Oh, 
back with my tang on. Oh, clock's just nice. Can I zoom in on this? Because it's wet. Sweet. There we go. A wee, a wee pollock. We have had some big pollock here. Hopefully one of them turned up. They're about five pounds. I had one here one time, wasn't it? One ballon rats. I think I'd better look at it. Oh, spiky, spiky. How different the colour is to Alex's one. Well, a bigger one, but. And a <laughs> It's not just rice and pork. Oh, Codlin joining in the party. There's a bit of a species hunt today. Apparently there's some quite nice cod in around here, but he's a little bit on the small side. Oh, I'll get him back. How many species is that now? Four. Cork wing, ballon, pork, cod. We're getting there. Right, but it's a bit wet. <laughs> hey, definitely found a wrasse. We found a nice wee area with lots of them, plenty of bites, plenty of action. Another cork wing, but this time it is a male. Look at those colours. Cool, cool looking little fish. It's tropical looking, isn't it? Ah, stunning. If you caught that in a barrier reef, you would be happy with it. Aye. Yeah. There we go, a couple of cork wings, plenty of balance. Gordon's picked up a few small ones, I've got a few more. We just need that cuckoo. If we get that cuckoo here, we can ground into the harbour and maybe get the other two. So, I like cuckoo. And that's where they're living, in amongst all that. We touch bigger. Mushy peas and some chips, that was dinner for it. But we can't take cod that size. Anyone that's watching that does take cod that size, don't bother, put them back. We're going for the wee ones now. 
Going for a gold sinny, that's the aim. Size 14, a little tiny bit of rag. You can pick up one of the weird ones. When the fish are that small, they can't pull the float under. <laughs> that looks like it's coming up in the water. I think that's got it. It's on. Is it what we came for? What we're looking for? What's that? Oh, 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 oh. It's the tough one. It's the tricky one. Caught on camera. Look at that. It's a rock cook. A meal rock cook at that. That's normally the one we feel. We usually struggle with that one. Usually need to go down to the, the pontoon for that. Hey! <laughs> so there we go, scaling down, size 14 hook. Did the trick. You can see that these fish, they're also called small mouth wrasse. As you look at the size of that, they're going to need a disgorger for that one, I think. So Gordon said in the, Gordon said in the intro, hey, yeah, we're after ras, we're after the Grand Slam, but it's a bit of a species hunt and we're looking for other bits and pieces as well. We've had cod and we've had pollock. Now this is the first that we've had today, but I was expecting to get overrun with these little guys. Poor cod. They're in here in plague numbers and they can. Yep, yep, floats away, floats away, take phone. Slows a week in the jail, him. That could have been a cuckoo, that's for all we know. These are pretty guffy, eh? Hey, what you got here? No way! <laughs> Rash species number four. The gold sinny. Usually in the neck of a fish. <laughs> <laughs> we, we fish a mark closer closer to home and they can be a right pain. There's millions of them but we found it quite hard to get one today. Usually pick the wood one up but yeah. Similar size to the rock cook. Nowhere near as colourful. It's all, look at the teeth on that, look at the. <laughs> so all that's missing is that bloody cuckoo. He needs a cuckoo. We usually pick at least one up, so there's a chance. That's four. Well, I can only see me catch Balan, Rass, Pollock, and these wee guys. Cod. Especially because you want it two pound for my dinner. Big deal. We'll get them back. Well, I switched to a smaller hook because I was feeling a bit guilty for not catching any, anything other than a balan wrist. I've only went and caught this wee beauty. Look at that. A 
I used to keep a marine aquarium years ago and I'm telling you. Could I paid a hundred quid for that for it. Absolutely stunning. But I'm still missing that damn cuckoo rash. Plenty of action now, fish after fish after fish. Loads of balance. A few cortlings, a few gold tinnies now, that one rock cook. But absolutely no sign of a cuckoo. Plenty of these wee guys out there. Got it. <laughs> it's not a cuckoo, but it's not a cuckoo. Where are these damn cuckoos? We're just over at the mouth of the harbour, so what we've done is for the last hour, uh, before we decide what we're going to do next, we took a wee walk along into the harbour itself, because in the, in the past, it's just the tiniest of hooks, a wee lead weight, and drop shot in the tiniest wee bit of ragworm, because sometimes it's good, just, it's good fun, it's great. It's that as well, it's good fun. But we're hoping to get a cuckoo ras, this is our last chance at a cuckoo. Have you ever had a cuckoo here though? We've heard they've been caught here. We've had every other wrasse from this little bit. It's a little jetty, a little kind of slip way. It's not deep. I'm just using drop shot tactics, it's brilliant. It reminds me of being a kid. Catching wee tiny fish, but it's great fun. Uh, but I, like Gordon says, we were fishing around on a sort of peninsula, right out into really deep water. So we'd come in, little bay, little cove, little harbour. The tide is going out, so we don't have long. So nah. We're going to crack on and get some fishing done, see if we can complete this grand slam. A wee cuckoo can be that size if it doesn't matter. <laughs> long as long as still counts. So yeah, let's have a look see what's there. We're just about finishing, we're just about out of bait. Uh, but we usually just before we finish, we come round to this little kind of jetty, fish down the side in the search for a rock cook. And we've always really struggled to find rock cook. Today, it's not a rock cook we're after, it's, a, it's still a cuckoo. But the first two drops, <laughs> come and have a look at this. The first two drops, perfect example. A male and female rock cook. Male on the top, female on the bottom. The colours and that. Believe it or not, we've struggled to catch these fish here for years. 
and they get two within five minutes. Let's get him back. Good. Yep. Come back over here. So yeah, it's always good to come in here just for an hour or so just before we head, head home. Because you never know what you can pick up. Pick up sea scorpions and all sorts of wrasse, little codling. They're, who knows? So we'll have a play around with tiny, tiny wee hooks. I'll show you my setup, but it's actually my drop shot rod that I've got out here. Little tiny bomb. Size 16 on a dropper. Tiny little bit of ragworm. And we'll just have a wee chuck around and see what we can catch. But that is a stunning rock cook to start with. You never know, maybe there is a cuckoo down there. Let's have a look. <laughs> That's brilliant. Specimen rock cook. Absolute cracker. I mean, they don't grow big, that's a cracker. Fish of the week. That's a fish of the week. <laughs> An old fish that is. <laughs> Look at that, but... I, honestly, I know I'm... Oh, there we go. Get them back. If you look close in at the size of this hook and the bit of rag we're using, it's literally the dregs of a rag tub. But look at that. Do they fight? Look at the colours in that. We are in Scotland fishing, by the way. Absolutely stunning. I can't get away with how stunning these wee fish are. Right, get them back. Daft cuckoo. <laughs> Daft cuckoo. One <laughs> fish. Let down by a cuckoo ass. But hey, we ended up with like a balan each, no. cork wing each, rock cook each, gold sinny each. Just one shot. I've never done it, he's done it once before. <laughs> I've done it once. Uh, but the, it's the rock cooks that have surprised me. Uh, we've we've struggled <laughs> so many times down here to get rock cooks. And we've had about 12 in about half an hour. Stunning wee fish, I know, I, I like them. I absolutely love them. But yeah, no Grand Slam. But that gives us an excuse to come back and try again later yeah, in the year. Like with proper rag. Loads of rag. Well, that cuckoo, yeah. You always get one as well. Almost always get one. <laughs> but after uh, the first hour, I thought we were really going to struggle. The first I hour. Have a video. Nothing <laughs> happened. Uh, it shows you, stick it out. Perseverance. Yeah, it's it's really pays off. Nice balance, nice cork wings. Aye. Good morning's fish. We've got something else up our sleeves for the day, haven't we? We've got another plan. We're going to finish off on the other side of the loch. But you're something going, bigger. Something bigger, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, but you guys are going to have to wait till next episode to find out what happens. <laughs> I've, I've heard nothing happens. I've uh, heard these midges, but these midges might. A spanner in the works. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this ras hunt, multi species hunt, grand slam, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's good fun. That was brilliant fun, I've got to admit. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time over there somewhere. See you later.